All right, guys, thanks again for joining us. This is Cat's Pajamas. And this is Pain User. And we are back for the rubber match game number three of a set between RG Fury, spawning as our orange Terran player at the 9 o'clock position on Metalopolis. His opponent, down here at the 6 o'clock, utilizing a very effective 4 gate on a large map like Taldorim, is a 1 Gator. He is our green Protoss player. So PVT matchup here, close positions by air. And this is more round of 128 action out of the qualifiers number two for IPL season two. Hope you guys have enjoyed everything thus far. We've enjoyed bringing these games to you. Absolutely. Um, and uh, did Fury ever get into Gator's main base in that last game and see only those two gates? No, I don't believe he did. So uh, Gator actually did end up proxying two of the four gates. Uh, didn't really seem like it was necessary, but nonetheless, a good a good precaution, especially if you're going to go that hard all in uh, and really just shove the four gate down Fury's throat, which is right. pretty much what he did right there. Uh, got a bunch of sentries too and was floating so many minerals the whole time. Uh, Fury obviously very upset about that last game, just left in a, in a bit of a huff, uh, which is totally understandable. He saw the... It, he didn't even see the four gate. He never got a count on how many gateways there were. He just knew it was coming. Um, and that's just really good game sense by him. He saw the units moving across the map, realized, hey, you know, he's He's definitely pushing across the map here. He must have some kind of a proxy pylon. Put up an additional two bunkers. But um, I feel invested uh, too much money in Marauders. Because mm -hmm. early on, Marauders without Stim and Concussive Shell really are not what you want to hold off a of four gate. You want Marines in bunkers. They do so much more damage. Right. And, uh, you know, Marauders just do absolutely nothing to Zealots. And they're not too great against Sentries either. Really, all they're great against is uh, Stalkers. Oh, stalkers, sure. And without Stim, they're not even that great. At, at that so uh, I think forever just a little bit frustrated with himself and this game I don't think we're gonna see another another four gate or I mean fury a little frustrated with himself in this game I don't think we're gonna see another four gate I've catered no probably not um, I would expect some sort of an expand build if I've seen enough out of him um, but we were kind of talking a little bit before the game if I know fury as well as I hope I would imagine that he's gonna do some sort of a harassment build especially given his positions and looks like he is actually going to steal his Protoss opponents gas I love that I love that move by Fury right there. If if you can get away with it, get away with it. And he actually was able to build that refinery for quite a bit there. I think he got it up into the yellow, maybe? Yeah, he got it into the high yellow, so you know, still only 323 hit points on that. Not, yeah. not quite the assimilator, but uh, it'll get the job done, and it'll essentially force Gatored down uh, you know, a specific pathway. And more than likely... What is Gatored added here? Is that a second gateway we have going up, or it looks like nothing? No, just a zealot yep. and a stalker and chrono boosting that gateway. So that is the direction he's headed. We do have a factory immediately following the rack, so we might see uh, some banshee play here. But he doesn't have the second gas, so if he does go for banshees, it's probably just going to be a singular banshee without cloak, uh, or he might be getting some hellions here. It looks like he is going with a very mineral heavy. Uh, build right now, but judging from that bunker, I don't think he's going to be looking to expand immediately. No, it looks like he is putting up his starport right away, so this is probably just going to be a Hellion drop for a little while. Um, although, it depends on how much gas he saves up. We'll find out. We do have three gate robo build coming up now for Gator. He's hiding those those gateways down at the bottom left so that nothing that drops directly into this gas vent here will be able to see those right away. Um, but it also keeps those out of the eyes of any sort of a scan may feign towards some sort of a one gate robo expand build uh let's see here though looks like forever's just about to finish up that starport so we'll see if he drops down the tech lab he's going to go right into a medevac and medevac, it's a medevac it is so we are going to see a hellion drop yeah this is pretty interesting uh you don't this is a build you see much more commonly against uh, either a Terran or a Zerg opponent. Uh, not so much against Protoss. I think it's a lot easier for Protoss to deal with um, the Marine Hellion Medivac push. I mean, they have force fields, uh, Zealots do very well against all of those units. Even with the medevac healing the marines, zealots still do more than enough DPS to cut them down. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it looks like we're actually going to see a drop from Gatored here as well. I think both ships might pass at the halfway point here, just heading to one another's base. Actually, looks like Gatored, no, he is going to go right across the middle, just waiting for a stalker and an additional zealot right now. Once he realizes that that drop ship is in his base, though, he's probably going to turn around right away. Oh. There he goes, turning around and dropping those units off right on top of the marine. 
lanes, and I think he'll have enough to deal with this. Uh, you know, Fury not the best. Oh, and pulling in the Hellions from the right side, looking to get some probes there. A uh, good probe micro, actually, from oh. Gator. It looks like he's going to keep a majority of those alive. And, uh, you know, Gator going to be able to hold this pretty well. Although, oh, oh. my goodness, that la last two shots right there killing oh. so many probes. Oh, my goodness. And that's just really bad luck right there. I mean, he happened to be dropping at the same time that the medevac was coming in. Yep. And medevac just beat him to the chase. But if this warp person gets up there, there's really not a lot here for forever to defend. He's got a couple of marines, but this bunker is not going to be in place yet. So, honest to God, I mean, these units could do quite a bit. And Gator's going to be able to drop in as well. He's sending all of his SEVs in now to attack the Zealots. But these Zealots oh are going to tear through the SEVs. So many SCVs going to fall. It looks like, oh, nice micro right there. Actually picking up his stalkers as they get injured and dropping them back down. Take a look at the workers killed now. Gator just killed 22 workers. He lost 16 of his own. Now 24, 25 workers. So doing the damage right back. Both players at 20 supply. Good lord. Uh, managed to even that up in a serious way. We do have a Banshee out now for Fury. Fury's army composition getting a little bit scary for Gator to deal with. Once he starts mixing those Banshees in, the Marines and Hellions are just so much more effective. They're a great meat shield. They're a great tank. And he does have two Raxes continually producing Marines here. So this next push from Fury, I feel like, is going to be so powerful. And hopefully Gator doesn't try and do some kind of a quick expand here uh, to transition out of this. He, what he really needs to do is just produce a a ton of units right now and prepare for dealing with this eventual push that is actually on its way right now and I just don't think Gator has enough to deal with this as long as Fury micros this Banshee and keeps it alive keep in mind the Banshee will be firing the entire fight and there are two now and if he micros these Banshees well and targets down those Stalkers, there's really nothing Gator can do about this. Absolutely. So Gator warping in as many Stalkers as he can. He's got another one ready to go. The Hellion sitting on the low ground there, but the Marines run in, and now look at the DPS of those Banshees rocking the world of those Stalkers. A couple of Stalkers are in now, but they're really not dealing all that much damage to the Banshees. Exactly what you said uh, would happen is happening. Those <laughs> Banshees are not being targeted that effectively, and that's allowing the rest of the units for forever to push it and do massive amounts of damage. Look at all the lost mining time and all of these probes are going to go down immediately. These Hellions doing so much damage. The last Ooh. couple of Stalkers are going to fall. Ooh. Everything disappearing for Gator down to 10 supply, 5 supply, and he leaves the game. And that is the beauty of Banshees. In the early and mid game, they're just so effective mixed into your army. That's why I've actually... You know, before I stopped playing seriously, I had started mixing Banshees in a lot into my early and mid game. Even if you open with Banshees, don't do too much damage. As long as you keep them alive and mix them back into your army, your eventual push in the mid game is so strong. And the beautiful thing about them versus Protoss is they're obviously not affected by the positioning war. They're not affected by the force fields. They're the one unit that can hover, you know, between the force fields in your army and just continuously fire the whole time. Right. You can pull them back and they continue to fire. And that is the strength of Protoss. They can prevent specific units of yours from even entering the fight. They can push Marines out. They can push Marauders out. But there's nothing they can do about Banshees. Although, um, Phoenixes are never fun. Exactly. Phoenixes are quite good against Banshees. So if he gets a good read on you and builds, you know, two Phoenixes, he can essentially kill all your you Banshees. Just completely shut it yeah, down. Yeah, it's That it's is brutal. still quite a large mineral sink. So, yeah. Um, all right. So there it is, guys. One Gator goes down to Fury, two games to one. That means Fury will advance into the round of 64 here at the uh, IPL Season 2 Qualifiers number two. If you guys have enjoyed the IPL, check them out. IGN.com slash IPL or as IGN Pro League on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You can see the links down here at the bottom left and if you've enjoyed pain user nice casting please do check us out at twitter.com slash cats pajamas sc2 and i'm at twitter.com slash pain user so until next time guys we'll catch you later yep yep